good now. But today, uh, all of my stuff showed up. And today, me and my dad are going to put all of these pieces together and hopefully get a really sweet editing machine. Um, I watched a video on the like best budget 2020 uh, 4K, 6K, 8K uh, editing computer. That's this video right here. I'm gonna link it up in the corner here. But I really wanted to make a video about this because I'm sure a lot of people have been wanting to build this computer or already have built this computer. Um, but nobody else has actually shown like their um, experience with it. So that's what I kind of want to do today. Uh, build this computer and uh, just show you guys how it's like and uh, what it's like to own. So. So a few of these parts are not actually a part of his list. Uh, the mouse keyboard aren't a part of his list, uh, but the um, graphics card is not. And um, what else is it? There's something else. Um, I guess that, I think that was the only one. The graphics card was a, this is an Asus uh, graphics card Rogue. Uh, it's a 2060 Super, um, but uh, I think he suggested a like he, su he suggested another one, but this is the one I have. Uh, I'm gonna link it down in the description below. Everything here is gonna be linked down in the description below, so um, be sure to check that out. But without further ado, I think me and my dad are gonna actually uh, get into building this thing. So uh, let's get into it. Welcome back. Uh, it's been a while. Uh, I kind of changed up my office a little bit, but uh, we were talking about that computer that I was building. Uh, that com this computer right here, actually. I uh, have been editing on it just for a little bit now. Uh, I downloaded DaVinci Resolve, and I uh, come from a Final Cut background, so I'm not. I wasn't sure how it was gonna be to switch from Final Cut to DaVinci. But oh my goodness, I absolutely love DaVinci Resolve. I just downloaded the free version for now, but I'm gonna upgrade to the um, 299 uh, version, the uh, $299 version. Um, that is gonna be the studio edition. I'm not exactly sure what it does. I think you can do edit in higher resolutions and uh, denoising and a few other things that the studio version gives you that the free version doesn't. But uh, editing on the free version, fantastic. I've been loving it. Like I thought it was gonna be a huge learning curve, but no, it's actually been relatively simple. And I've actually kind of liked some things in DaVinci more than I've liked in Final Cut. So I've been liking that. Uh, I'm gonna download some plugins and stuff and try to figure out that fusion thing. But yeah, uh, but oh my goodness, guys. This computer is blazing fast, but I have a Ryzen 9 uh, 3900 in there, and it is blazing fast. 12 cores, and I have a RTX 2060 Super in there, and uh, 32 gigs of RAM, and a, I forget what they're called, it's a hard drive, it's a one terabyte hard drive SSD that just clips right into the motherboard. Leave a comment down below if you know what that is. <laughs> but uh, I can't think of the name of it right now. But uh, yeah, 
and I'm testing out some new lighting. So, uh, Danny Gerverts, I will leave a link in the description for his YouTube channel. He is a uh, hero of mine. Uh, right here, he, uh, I got some lighting set up. Uh, hopefully, this is to your likings, uh, Danny. Uh, but <laughs> hoping that's good enough for you. <laughs> But I think it looks pretty good. But uh, I gotta switch over to my other camera here. But uh, yeah, no, I like it. But uh, this computer, blazing fast. It's awesome. So um, I wouldn't just kind of talk about it a little bit, um, and just my thoughts in general of like how it was switching over. So uh, just give me a minute here. I'm gonna switch over to the other camera. All right, so I kind of touched on a little bit there in my little talk around the house. Uh, but uh, what I really wanted to kind of touch on was uh, this computer. I kind of looked up, like, some other stuff about it. Like, uh, I looked up 4K editing computer for 2020. And, uh, of course, you guys probably have looked this up before and probably have seen this guy. Uh I'm, I linked them before in the video uh, just a little bit ago, but I'll link it again. Um, and I'll leave a link down in the description to who this is. Um, but so I went off his list and I built this out and uh, I liked it because it came out to like 1400, 1500 more like it um, with some of the other customization. Well, his initial list comes out to fourteen hundred, like it says. Uh, it's fourteen hundred dollar editing computer. You can do four K, eight K, well, and all that type of stuff. But uh, mine came out to like more uh, the with tax and everything came out to like nineteen hundred. But the reason being is because I didn't go with some of the graphics cards. I didn't go with the same GPU, and I didn't go with the same like storage and stuff like that. Um, so I I went with a little bit more storage and um, just a little bit m more oomph behind some of the stuff. So I kind of upgraded a little bit. I went to his like second list down and kind of just uh, upgraded from there. But uh, that was my own personal research I've kind of done. But uh, yeah, like I said before earlier in this video, there is a link in the description for all the stuff that's in this computer. If you're coming from Mac. Uh, it is a little tiny bit of a learning curve. It, it's not that much to put you off. You shouldn't be scared to go from Mac to PC because I've actually loved this experience, except for loading all the drivers. I thought that was ridiculous. Uh, loading all these drivers has been crazy because you have to hunt down every single product that you have and you have to download a driver for it or else it just doesn't work. So uh, once you get everything, like just sit, like just make sure, go nice, slow and easy. Just don't skip anything. Just just go through it. Just make sure you cross your T's and dot your I's because <laughs> it's going to save you so much stress. Oh my gosh, that was so stressful. It was like an entire week I wasn't actually able to use this thing. This video has been kind of in the making. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a really, really awesome computer, though. Like, I have been loving my entire experience with this now that it's working. When I wasn't getting that working, I was so stressed out. I was like, did I do the right thing? Oh my gosh, did I buy the right parts? Do these parts not go with this? Just, oh my gosh, like, I did I buy a really old motherboard? No, it, no, no. Um, it wasn't any of that, so. It all turned out good in the end. But, uh, if you go by the rules, <laughs> and you follow some really good YouTube videos and tutorials, you shouldn't have any problems. My experience switching from DaVinci Resolve, uh, this video actually is edited on DaVinci Resolve. So uh, I'm still learning it. So some of the color grading might be a little off because uh, uh, I'm just kind of practicing a little bit. But uh, so far, I'm really liking it. It's really a good experience. And uh, <laughs> when you actually log into DaVinci Resolve, it asks you what keyboard shortcuts you use. I ask you, do you use Premiere or do you use uh, Final Cut? And I'm like, oh, sweet. So you can you just use the regular Final Cut uh, keys. So I, I I jumped right into it and I knew exactly what but which button was what. So um, that's one thing that was really nice about it. Um, 
but yeah, I don't know. It was it was just a really easy learning curve, and some there's some really good guys out there that made some really good videos about how to operate DaVinci Resolve, and um, yeah, it's really really simple. So um, if you guys have come from any other background of editing, you're gonna jump right into DaVinci Resolve with no problem whatsoever. And this is a video that I was kind of wanting. That's why I'm kind of making this video. I, I wanted to be able to go into this leaving my Mac and my Final Cut and just being like reassured being like oh yeah I can I can do this because it's oh this guy says it's easy and blah 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 so I I think it's easy um if some of you might have other thoughts and another thing is I forgot uh to tell you I actually down I actually did upgrade some things in it I had some uh other hard drives lying around. So I have actually five terabytes of space on this thing. Uh, two terabytes being SSD, three terabytes being just regular hard drive. Um, but yeah, uh, I am so happy because I was on my 2012 MacBook Pro and 250 gigs on it. And I was having to use like my uh, Samsung SSDs and different like WDs, like these ones right here, these WD drives, editing off these and just like losing space like every 10 seconds. I'm like, <clears throat> every single video was a total headache because I was losing space every single time in my computer. Every time I would like, like go up the timeline of my video, no joke, oh my gosh. My computer would just go, I'm like, okay, all right. It needs to cool down for a little bit. So I actually had a designated fan that I would literally just like, okay, turn that on. All right, I can edit for a little while, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, but I really hope this video was helpful. If you guys have any questions at all, please let me know in the description, uh, not in the description, the comments down below. I would be more than happy to get back to you guys. And that was a long rant. And uh, yeah, just be sure to check out all the channels down below, guys. I'm going to link a f few of them. So just be sure to check them out. And uh, just give those guys some love. Tell them I sent you. All right, you guys. I have ranted enough. I, uh, I love you guys. I hope you guys have a good one. Uh, if you hung in with me this far, I appreciate you. Uh, thank you for all the recent subscribers. You guys are awesome. Love the comment section. You guys are great. Uh, but yeah. You guys have a good one. See you in the next video.